YouTube. This is NJ Double Fan 26, and as you can probably see, because it is sticking out of the bag, I did get the Canon 60D. Finally, I've been wanting this since around Hanukkah, Christmas time, and I never really had the money for it, but finally did. So I went out and purchased it at my local camera store, rather than going on Best Buy's website because they people at the camera store were able to match the price. They actually couldn't match the price with the camera itself, but they gave me like 20% off on every single accessory that I got, which was nice to them. So the price kind of evened out when I compared it to buying all the accessories at Best Buy, which was very nice to them. Plus, I mean, it's always nice to have a good relationship with a local store in case I need help or anything like that. Plus, they said that they would give me free training sessions anytime I ever came in. If I had a question or anything or wanted to know how to edit a picture or my way of shooting, rather than paying $125 an hour like everyone else would have to, I could just do that uh, for free. Now, we already did set up the camera there, and unfortunately it is out of battery because we used up all of the one bar of battery that it came with, setting it up there. So, I don't think we have anything in the box. We can just check. You guys can take a look at the box itself. It says 60D. We'll just zoom in over here. You guys can see my little poster board for cheating with the white in the back. I got the EFS 18 to 135mm uh, lens kit on the side. Just the price and stuff. We'll open it up. Um, I did break my wrist in hockey uh, two days ago. Got a hairline fracture on my growth plate. Now, hairline fracture, the doctor said it would only take two weeks and it'll take the cast off, which is nice. Um, it still hurts like hell, though. So we'll try to do a one-handed unboxing. Uh, first bone I've ever broken, actually. And the doctor was very impressed with that, uh, considering I've been playing hockey since... What, first grade now? So, what, 12 years? Alrighty, so we have owner's manual in here. Canon's digital solution disc, which I've heard from people uh, like Winston C. And that's now the iPhone guy that this software is actually very good. Um, you can actually plug the Canon into your computer, Mac and PC compatible, and uh, actually take pictures into your computer. So you can kind of use your Canon as a webcam, which is pretty cool. So if I can get some homebrew software to actually allow me to select it as a webcam rather than just a camera with the Canon software, it could be pretty sick using the 60D as a webcam. Put that down. It's a battery cover. And this is the camera strap, EOS 60D. I believe there's nothing else in here. We'll take the box aside. And we will take out the camera bag, which I just unzippered, so I didn't have to struggle on camera, because any pressure I put on my left wrist hurts like hell. So let's just move this out of the way. Nothing in here. Alrighty. So, this is the camera bag that I bought there, the Lower Pro. Um, I did get a bunch of student discounts, as I said, so the price is probably different if you're looking for it. But it is a small version. Got an extra battery with it because one battery shooting HD video they said would only last for an hour. So I decided, you know what, I'll get two of them, have them both charge in case I'm ever shooting for a longer period of time. So this is just the extra battery with the charger. Put that to the side. You guys can see the camera trying to pop out over here. But we're going to leave them inside for a little bit. Take a look at everything else. Uh, it comes with standard AV cables and a USB uh, cable which is right over here and we have our lens protectors over here which connect together um, and I'm not going to unscrew because again it is very hard to do that uh, but I will most of the time leave my lens on because I'm not looking into buying a new lens anytime soon the 15 to one, uh, 18 to 135 millimeter one seems fine for what I'm using it for so put that back in here. Try to zipper that up. Now you get to watch me struggle. Ugh. Take a look at the other side. I did actually purchase a new tripod there, especially for video, since the tripod I use now isn't exactly the best quality. It's like a $15 tripod. And the one that I got has a very strong head, so the 60D won't wiggle on it, and I can do some cool panning with it, which is really nice. Anything on the sides? I don't believe so. So I guess we can just jump on into the camera itself. 
So here is the 60D. Anything else in here? I don't believe so. So we'll put the camera on, bag onto the side, but we'll just give you a quick look. Inside, it's nice and padded. Have some suede on the inside. Uh, so the camera goes over here. And anything else, like a battery, you can put it over here. So very cool camera bag. I recommend buying it. I believe it was like $60, but I only had to pay like 50 or it was 69 and I only had to pay 50 which was nice. So we'll move that over to the side. And here is the 60D itself. We'll zoom in on that. So it is actually out of battery, and I did purchase a hood with it. So in case I'm shooting outside, it will reduce the glare. So try to twist that off. Getting used to using only one hand. This is very inconvenient. So the hood just goes on the reverse way, so then I can put it into the camera bag, and then I can just twist it on like such, and it's ready to go just like that. It weighs about uh, three to five pounds. So here it is over here. We have all the buttons, the little toggles, menu, info, play, unlock, to actually lock that version of it. Uh, zooming, AF on, autofocus, star button, which you use for settings. Uh, scrolling thing over here, which you can use for aperture and ISO. These are interchangeable. You can actually program the camera to, so you can choose which uh, slider you want to use. We have the 3 inch LED, which was the deal breaker why I got this instead of the T2i. I do apologize for the uh, tripod moving. I have my wrist sliding under, on, under it, so kind of moving it. So this was the real deal breaker. It opens up. I can turn it any way I'd like. So if I'm shooting high up, I can look down. If I'm shooting at myself, I can just shoot and say hello. So I can know exactly what I am doing. We'll put that back. And if I'm just shooting normally, I'll just flip it like this and like that. And boom. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I can barely see myself looking through. So we'll just close that up. Alrighty there. On the top, we have our display, which I can't show you because uh, the battery is dead, unfortunately. On the top, you can add an extra flash if you want. The flash does pop up on its own over here. Uh, but again, I can't show you that popping up right now because the battery's dead. And I'm not going to force it up like that. Uh, over here, we have the modes. They do lock automatically, which is very nice so you don't accidentally uh, twist anything when you're shooting. So you have to push it down and then you can choose your different ISO modes. We have portrait, video mode, which is what I'll be using it for mostly. So we'll just bring it down into that mode. The on and off switch. Again, this is autofocus ISO, so we can put that up. Uh, talking to the camera guys there, they did teach me a lot about ISO. A lot of things I didn't know. Uh, to record video, you press the camera button over here and then you wait for the red light to go on. But if you're doing regular shutter, uh, regular still pictures, you do have the shutter button right over here. has a very nice grip on the side of it, if I may say so myself. Nice rubbery kind of feel. Let's see, does this slide open? Yes, this is where the card goes in. I did purchase a 16 gig uh, ProMaster card, high speed one. So uh, it did work well with HD video because I heard if you have a slow card, but even if it is high capacity, it can really not do well with HD video. So we'll put that down. So I'll just close that up over here, take a look at the other side. So if we open this up, we have our little speakers right over here. Uh, we have uh, mic input, HDMI out, AV out, and we do have um, what looks like headphone monitoring. Could be wrong though. So here's the USB port, which doubles as an AV out. Uh, HDMI out, the mic of course. I will be looking into getting a lapel mic. If you guys have any suggestions for any wireless lapel mics, uh, please let me know because I would definitely like to get a wireless one. Wired, if I really can't find a cheap wireless one, but wireless preferably. So we'll just take off the lens now. Let's see if I can do this one hand. So here is the lens that it comes with itself. Again, the 18 to 135 millimeter uh, focus is by twisting this over here and zooming, of course, by twisting over here. So I will be able to get that blur effect now since I have a manual focus 
So when I do my reviews, you guys can really focus in and I'll get a much more professional look. Again, I will be using this for all my reviews now, so hopefully the quality will be a thousand times better. Even though the Panasonic Lumix ZS3 that I use now isn't bad by itself. Uh, the stabilizer we can turn on and off on the lens. I'm told that I'm supposed to keep it off when it's on a tripod, on when it's free. Because if it's on while it's on a tripod, it apparently can work against me. Autofocus and manual focus, we'll just leave that on. Manual focus. And here it is, that's it right over here. So here it is guys, the Canon 60D. Uh, you can find it online, Best Buy for $1,200. Most places sell it for $1,400 though. I did get it for $1,400 at my local store, but again, I did get the nice discount with the accessories. This is NJ Dell Fan 26. Stay tuned for some video tests and all of the future reviews with this camera. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.